I have to say it's a very exciting um, endeavor to, to link these two because um, it's, uh, we know certain things about emotions um, from neuroscience that we haven't been able to get through just behavioral studies. And um, one of those is the implicit nature of emotions that we can detect through neurobiology that isn't really available to consciousness. So I think that's an uh, important use of neuroscience tools to understand what's going on inside of us. And in terms of application to peace building, peace building is clearly a broad area. Um, it's what I would have thought of, at least initially, as kind of a lofty goal for neuroscientists to pursue. But if you break it down um, into the components of what's involved in peace building, um, I can think of ways in which neuroscientists really have a lot to contribute. Um, especially in our understanding of um, how emotions work, how uh, the conscious, subconscious uh, thinking works. And I think given that there really isn't much in terms of theory about neuroscience um, informing the field of peace building, there's a lot of opportunity there, um, both in terms of um, peace building field, learning about the brain, learning about um, neuroscience, and also neuroscientists learning about the problems that um, are there in the field in these critical moments where masses of people can be threatened or in danger. Um, so if neuroscience can have something to bear on, on that, I think it would have a very uh, powerful influence. And I think there's a lot of uh, work to be done. Um, and a lot of it is actually very tangible. Um, so even though you know, initially I thought this is very lofty, I, I now see that there are some pretty concrete things that um, neuroscientists can do to contribute. Um, so it's something that will require a multi-methodological multi approach, um, say working with uh, people who work in the field. So some crosstalk between laboratory studies and field studies, I think, will be really beneficial. Um, so I think it's exciting also because it brings in this interdisciplinary perspective, which is always uh, both challenging and very exciting and inspiring. Um, so I think this is just the very, very, very early stages but it's uh, starting to sow the seeds of something that I think can be very fruitful, not just for science, but for um, international communities as a whole. Um, clearly, there's been a lot of work in the peace building field, and a lot of it has been successful. Um, and there have been a lot of cases where, as much as there's been a lot of earnest, um, well-meaning effort, maybe the outcomes haven't been so successful. So it could be that neuroscience has some promising um, knowledge to offer in these cases where um, there could be an extra edge there in achieving the outcomes.